Okay, it's a lovely, lovely afternoon. Welcome to your favorite current affairs program, 60 Minutes Nigeria. My name is Erosa Agmola. It's always a delight to have you on the program because we discuss topical issues that affect the country. Most especially as uh, citizens, Nigerians, Nigerians in the diaspora are waiting endlessly for the 2023 general elections. There are a lot of talking, a lot of issues to be discussed, a lot of issues to be dissected on the program. Today we are looking at tackling insecurity and electoral fraud. Uh, it is believed that insecurity actually. might just have I an effect on the process, the electoral process, and of course, the outcome of the 2023 elections. But the federal government has assured Nigerians yeah. that insecurity will be tackled and that elections will be held as scheduled by the umpire, INEC. So with the, with the assurance of the president, who of course is okay, the commander-in-chief okay. of the armed forces, Fred Neves could just, uh, <laughs> we could have a calm Neves now because the security agencies will surely ensure that elections are held. Well, joining me to discuss today's uh, topic, we have a former chairman of the Nigerian Labour Congress at those state and a highly respected clergyman, Reverend Olu Adirigumi. Nice to have you, sir, on the program. Thank you, Ebiza. Okay. Thank we, also you have us. In, we also have in the studio a regular face, a statistician, an analyst, Dr. Maxwell Osage, nice to have you today. Thank you, Ebosa. Okay. Viewers, good afternoon. We also have in our midst a youth leader, a politician, and of course, he is the chairman of the Farm Produce Association of Nigeria, just a chapter. He, he always wants to be called a farmer on the show today. Ebosa, nice to have you with us. It's a pleasure. Okay. So, now, insecurity is no longer news. But we must say that it's assuming a very frightening dimension, very, very disturbing trend, and of course, uh, a development that gives cause for concern. Just a few days ago, we heard of what happened in Ibilo, Akoko Edo, had some dead bodies just along the road. Nobody knows what happened, but the Dose government has assured now that the investigation will be carried out. The police has also assured that the investigation will be carried out. Pockets of violence around the country, not just in one state. But like I said, the president has assured that insecurity will be tackled. We'll start with Reverend Lua Adedigbe. Now, do you think with the security situation, that the 2023 election will be held. Well, thank you. Okay, sir. Everything depends on us. Okay. Our determinations and justice, steadfastness, and commitment to our for our nation. By the grace of God, there will be election. Okay. And uh, it may be too tensive atmosphere, but election we hold. And uh, why are we afraid whether election we hold or not? It's because of insecurity that is ravaging this country. It is, cannot be termed as insecurity anymore, but war. War that is raging highly in the nation. Because nobody wants to secure the country. Those who are supposed to secure us are also looking for security. It's, it's like it was night that said, I had a dream that is guarding his own boss. Nigeria, the people that are supposed to look after us, they are sleeping and they have compromised. They have trivialized the life of the people, because what is going on right now in this country, the election will be home, the, the election will take place, but fear, 
If you're expecting one million people, you may see 500. Because some may not come out to vote. Nobody wants to lose their heads. A situation where people can, can block road in presidency in Azorok. And we have people, we have military men, we have people supposed to be on guard, brigade of guard, or call them whatever name you call them. But they cut them and stand. Two, see what happened? Nobody can travel. The corruption, have, uh, corruption and insecurity, they are twins. And they are working hand in hand. And this is not what we emphasize when the majority of people voted this present government. Because they are promised one, they are going to uh, protect the nation, okay. they are going to be security, they condemn the former uh, rulers, or that PDP, whatever you call them, that they have not performed and they want to do it within three months. But we are in another eight years <laughs> without no nothing to show for it. So corruption has taken over the corruption and insecurity. There are twins working hand in hand in the country of Nigeria. All what we yeah, we are hearing is that we are on top of the matter. Take for example the the, the school girls that they were captured, kidnapped, and they were now releasing them. Government paying money to release his own citizen. You cannot do it in America. You cannot even do it in neighboring country here. But when we are paying, we now discover that corruption has taken over and and injustice has become their, their prefect. Hmm. And when are, this, this type of thing is taking place in a country where there's no job, then there will be insecurity. As far as this thing continues, the matter of addressing security in the country of Nigeria is just you should forget it. Maybe we are having hope that whoever is coming again, if we can vote wisely, okay. we can vote responsibly, if we can vote our conscience, not the money, then we will not talking about maybe Nigeria will be secure. But if, if under this same platform, we still want to be fools, because if some people have to vote now for the same, same people, then we should go to medical, look for a doctor <laughs> to come and examine such person. Okay. So insecurity in the country of Nigeria is a daydream because our leaders are not interested. All what they are is how to accumulate money, how to make plans for the next election. Have you ever seen politicians discussing about your people, about yourself, about individual, of the, about the nation? But they only discuss themselves, how they want to do it for themselves. Now that, that spirit, that is the spirit of greed, spirit of corruption, security will elude us. We will not be able to catch up. So I'm Thank you, sir. saying that this present government, they are sleeping seriously and they are not taking matter of security seriously. Security is a situation where students are home for how many months? They Eight can, months. for about uh, almost a year. And then they are a hidden mind, it's devil's workshop. It gives room for, for, I'm not saying all the students or the, the artists, yeah. but because they are not engaged, then what happened? They use them for many other things. And in front of the kidnapping that is taking place now is part of hunger and these same politicians using it as a base to make money. How do you want to secure the country? How who want to secure who? And they really find out too, until we have a part of the country some vigilante group carry gun, where some, the same country, they are not allowed to carry gun. And unless we have to do what we call state police and this individual security like what is taking place here in Edo State and uh, Amatekun and Co, that is why we can be able to address the matter of security if we allow state police. Mm. But with the present situation in the country of Nigeria, forget about security for now. Okay, thank you very much, sir. That was very expository. Uh, from uh, Reverend Lou Aderik Bigbe, uh, a former labor leader in Edo State and a clergyman. Uh, we have with us uh, Dr. Maxwell Sage. Now, um, Reverend Lou Aderik Bigbe has just told us now that the spate of insecurity in Nigeria is a wake up call for government at all levels to actually ensure security of lives and property as we prepare for a major election. 
Uh, what's your take on this? Uh, thank you, I was. Okay. Uh, but I, I, I want to go through this way. Yes. Should we secure the country because we want to do the election? Should we secure the country because one man is vying for a position that he, will, he or she will further impoverish the people? Uh, security is one of the key factors of government. Okay. So he shouldn't be based on certain uh, period and time where we all not to have okay, let's take it seriously. Security is an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. See, the fact is this. Huh? I have a problem with all the governors as well as the president. Because security is not the, only the presidency thing or the governor thing. Also, I have a problem with even us as an individual. Okay. Because we don't ask certain questions. Certain questions needed to be asked, even with those around us and those that are far from us as well. Now, in a case where you live in an environment or you live in a geographical area where you knew quite all right that A, B, C, D has nothing doing, but is living a life that is worthy of, uh, in quote, political class. And at the end of the day, we are just so comfortable with it. You don't know what the person is doing. All you see is that the person wakes up in the morning ride exotic cars, or you see that the person wakes up in the morning, buy all expensive things and everything, and everybody is just comfortable with it. Why would there not be insecurity? Now, in as much as we want to look at it based on the political time that is coming, mm. which may likely affect the minds of the people, whether to come out or not to come out. But the end product of this is very clear. As heavy as the insecurity aspect of Anambra State before Soludo became governor. Yes. Election head. <laughs> now, I need to tell everyone, all the electorate, one thing I know about politicians is that they try to create a scenario that makes the situation so intense for people to be afraid not to come out and exercise their dutiful uh, state of mind. Now, what am I trying to say? Please, disregard anything you are hearing right now, whether they will keep in in election day. Please, come out and vote the right person. Because one of the reasons why this insecurity has remained unabated is because they try to create a scenario like this, more often than not, make it look as if we are just nothing, but constantly fall back to them. You see, uh, politicians that want to win election, let me clear you, politicians that want to win election, they are very key mainly those in power, they create a scenario that will make you not to come out because they want to retain power. Now, politicians are afraid when people come out in number to cast their vote. Now, if you see the pressure the, the INEC chairman has been facing, though not publicly announced and everything, yes. he's brought down to the fact that, oh, some persons didn't want the electoral act to work. Now, if you are saying you do not want the electoral act to, to work, what are you creating? You are creating more insecurity in the system. So people will have to start looking for one way or the other to create an easy way where they can easily would also manipulate their own. At the end of the day, you are increasing the tempo of insecurity. Yes. Now, but if we have to bring it down to where we are today, is the insecurity be handled by the present government, I don't think they've done anything. Because, they, see, an average human being, when you hear anything, when you hear anything, whether good or bad, just prepare. You never can tell. But in a case where someone is telling you something is about to happen, and you are disregarding just information, you are just disregarding it. Oh, there will be something here, something there, something here. Please, this. Right that. The Abuja yes, I don't threat. want to. Yes, the Abuja okay. threat. But don't you think it could be a strategy by the security agencies? One, they want to allay the, the fears of the citizens and also maybe strategize. You know, don't you think? No, 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 no. Those I comments see, 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 to see. like be, uh, you know, Augusta, ensure before, normality. Augusta, before that comment became public, I yes. want to believe. See, see, nothing happens in the public without first discourse. 
and in the secret. Before that statement was made public, I believe it may have been discussed, but some of them disregarded it. Now, if you follow up that trend, after 48 hours, then they started calling for their citizens to revert back to their states. Now, even some of the people in government were even saying that the information is not real, is not credible. But if you go to the embassy website of this same country, it's like there. And person who is saddled with the responsibility of information is telling you it's a fake, it's a fake news. He said it's a fake news. So are you not creating insecurity more? Are you not telling people, okay, you can dive into this? I expect, as a responsible government, what do you do? When you hear information, you calm down the nerves of the people. Yeah. It's not you disregarding the fact. I like the fact that when I listened to, to the IG, he said, well, if you listen to the IG, the comment he made when he came to, I think, in, in, in data, okay. and when he also visited a, a those things. Yeah. Now, he made it clear. Yeah, if you have the information, you know where to go. You should have relayed such information to the right authority. However, whether such information was given or not, so, but we just believe, we, ju we are just in a government where information is given, and tomorrow you hear somebody say, I I'm not aware. If you hear the case of the Minister of Finance and the Central Bank Governor, yeah. do you think such matter can come to the poor view of the people that we want to print Naira and the Minister of Info uh, Finance is saying, I'm not aware. And by the statutory mandate of the Central Bank, the the uh, permanent secretary of the Ministry of Finance is a member, is a board member in Central Bank where such decisions are, are arrived at. No, if a permanent secretary under you goes for a meeting and everything, and he reports back to you. So why will you come on here and say you are not aware, evil and everything, you were not carried along and everything, are you not know, creating more insecurity in the system? Now, we are just looking at insecurity from the killing. And, there are several insecurity. Financial insecurity, mental insecurity, spiritual insecurity affecting us in all ways. And we just have a government who care less, as if nothing is happening. And you come to us and you are asking for our vote, as if we are just animals. And I blame the electorate, who fail to know their responsibility, casting their vote wisely, delivering on the dividend by which they can say to themselves, tomorrow, yes, I voted this person in. Now, this idea of government just coming to us, everything you pass to them as if we are just animals that they cage in one place, tell us what we want to hear. At the end of the day, nothing is happening. I think it's high time. And there is no time to do it, but in this 2023. I can see how, how emotional uh, Dr. Maswe is. He's so, he's so particular about this 2023 election. And I believe that all Nigerians need to take the election seriously because it's a defining moment. A defining moment. Uh, first, I thought I know that the youths are highly involved in the electoral process, and unfortunately, some youths are also involved in the insecurity in the problems that we have. Uh, uh, I will come from this angle. The insecurity, as uh, our Reverend said, the doctor. Yes. First, the family, the parents should do their part. The security agencies are doing their part. And uh, for we say there is insecurity in this country, the country is so secured. It's the criminals in this country that are insecure because uh, this election period and uh, they are trying to arrest like what happened, the dead body they saw. How come when these various political parties are holding rally, there is no crisis? They should ask them why. And uh, when people are busy traveling, going to their farm, you hear two persons die, this, that. Uh, to me, we, we, we are wiser than what they are telling us. We will not blame the president at this point in time. This country is big enough for Mr. President to, to, to superintend over. But what happened in the election, in the primaries, the president was there seated when uh, the best of the party came up. And we saw how the, the primaries went. 
And today, everybody is campaigning. Every political party has eventually ended their primaries. They are trying to tell Nigerians, sell to Nigerians. The flood came. Bayasa has been taken over. We had uh, ecological fund was sent to state to try to prevent or reduce the damage. Up to today, nobody has been held accountable. This money was not given to, to spirit, was given to states. And uh, nobody has said what the president said is not true. Up to today, we've not heard anything. Uh, Nigerians are in, uh, in high, IDP camps. In pro not if they call IDP camps. We know how camps look like outside this country. They are in primary school. <laughs> no toilet, nothing, no light, electricity. They will give them food, give them food to eat, like birds, like animals. And we are very comfortable with it. And we are saying insecurity. Uh, to me, insecurity in this matter is just the calm. Uh, before we started, I said, there is no crisis in Edo. Why is the filling station have decided to increase for it? We know Bayasa. They said there is no road, no water, water everywhere. They can't go. Those who have to sell, they've increased. In Edo, what is the problem? So persons just decided not to sell. The other one is not selling. And we are saying insecurity. I told them, continue to sell. If you sell 300, we will buy. But something will happen when nobody has the money to buy. That is where you see this insecurity will be defined. But for now, what I know is this, is hunger. There is, there is hunger in the land. There is no food. You bring money. Somebody complained yesterday. I took 20000 to the market to buy things. After buying, I was looking for the things I bought inside the nylon. It's as bad as that. Our wife, our mothers can attest to this. But if we are looking at this electoral process, this is not the time to blame the government. This is not the time to blame the citizen. This is the time for we to rethink and ask ourselves this question. What are we looking for? From every angle, from your own Tell your children, tell your neighbor. As my doctor said, with you, the next neighbor you don't know, you will live in a place, somebody will come, rent or build. In six months, it will start foundation. In one year, he has finished it. Government will not come. Council will not come. Community will not come. If the community come, he give them food and whatever. Where do you work? I'm a businessman. I'm from abroad. We are in abroad. Nobody knows. At the end of it all, you don't even know your neighbor. They will raise fence. Those days it was prison that we see six meter fence, 12 meter fence. But now go to individual houses. Their fences are higher than the ones in the prisons. <laughs> and they put this electric this thing. People will not ask questions. They lock, the gate is tinted, their vehicle is tinted. And we are saying insecurity. Our children are missing. The government came out and they said they should not be hanging. People protested. They should leave this prostitute. Look, they, they, they've resumed again. They are back again to the street. If the government tried to stop this, people would make this. I, I told, I will say this here clearly. If we cannot change our attitude, the way we look at things, from the way we sleep, the way we rise up, wake up, and the way we interact. This is security. Even in America, America is not secure. Europe is not secure. There is nowhere in the world today that is secure. Nigeria, in the story we are hearing, as my brother said to the embassy, if you hear some story, you tell some person you are in a do state. Sometimes I'll be in Benin, I'll tell you, Ah, are you in Nigeria? You are in Benin? Ah, they say they just kidnapped somebody. The way the story fly, because the media is not well managed. I know of a story of somebody in America, in one stage in America, they cannot allow their children to step down from their house to the street because something will definitely happen. But you will not hear that in the media. It's been covered. 
But in Nigeria, when somebody, oh, everybody saying Nigeria, through the traffic I walk down here, nobody harassed me. The police, they've tried their best. The military, they've tried their best. I'm a product of, a, 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 I grew up in the barrack. When we were in the barrack, the soldiers were taken care of. Their food, their uniform, their boots, their, their, their place. But today, our soldiers are abandoned. You give their uniform with rifle, they are not well paid. They will go to, the, to, to, to fight uh, terrorists and come back. The allowances is been delayed. The police, you will tell them to go and walk. Look at the civil defense. They are not being taken care of. And we are saying we are preparing for election. As my brother said, nothing will happen in this election. The election will come and it will go. Insecurity is hunger. If we can manage it, if you have bread, you buy two. Always buy extra so that you can eat one. If somebody, oh, ah, you, okay, you want bread, take. You, you are free. Because this time around, it's not, they are, now they are collecting money. Maybe a few days from now, a few months now, they will, they will do something and collect food. Because what we are experiencing, you go to a restaurant, some persons will just walk into a restaurant, they don't have money. As you are ordering, they will say, I've not eaten. And that is where we are working. I've never seen it as bad as this in the state. We see it in the north, you see the Amajiri. But now, Amajiri is everywhere in Benin. So <laughs> we'll that, that, to that, 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 that is the area we should look at yes. insecurity okay. in this period. We'll come back to you because we need to take a break. And uh, after this break, uh, we'll be looking at the other aspect of tackling insecurity and, of course, electoral fraud. The voters have a role to play to ensure credible elections. That will be after this break. Okay, nice to have you back after that brief uh, break. Uh, we're talking about tackling insecurity and electoral fraud. Uh, I'll be asking uh, Reverend Lua Adiri, do we change our service chiefs again? Nigerians clamored at a time for a rejig of the security architecture and new service chiefs were appointed. Do you think we should do that again? Or there should be a different approach? Well, let me first quickly correct one impression here. Okay. Now, from our discussion. Okay. If the president knows that he cannot rule, nobody force him. He should resign. Unless that, if we cannot go ahead, what it happened in Britain, that the the PM resign. He can resign. If he cannot tackle security, cannot help the people. What? Nobody forcing. He volunteered that he want to lead the country. Um, the country is not too large for anybody. You must, for you to eat lion, you must have lion heart. <laughs> as much as he cannot, or the country is collapsing in his hand, he should resign. As though that uh, everybody is wrong with his team. This, they are, this team that are involved now, they are the worst. Because we have hunger, we have tears, we have sorrow, we have killing. In fact, it is, I, can, I call them condolence government. Because since inception, there's always condolence messages, visiting people died, disaster, and all that. So coming to election uh, issues. issue, well, we still go back to our legislators, those whom we have, in, we have voted for. They, 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 they have, the military has compromised. Every, every service chief, they have compromised. And it's he who blew the piper that dictate the tunes. It is he who employ them. That they will not work a case. Has you ever seen any person resigning among the military brass? Even when they were accused of certain things, the same government, the same president and his team, though they, after much cry, after much cry and 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 people shouting, they they, re, they technically re, retired them. Immediately after retirement, they posted them as an ambassador. So it's like somebody who is making party in a failure. So this election that is coming, one attempt they have started it, attempt to intimidate the INEC chairman. I started because there's every 
um, every rumor, there is element of truth in it. Like what you have just dropped. The American made noise. They said it is lie. It's uh, something and uh, they made noise today, and they, they, they started leaving their they had their citizen to leave the nation. It is then our government now know that they arrested some people with ammunition. Where were they before the the alert from American state government? So a lesson that is also coming, unless we are very careful, and that's part of it of these manipulations. It's like you just change money now, change in era at the eve of election. It's, it's, even though it's good, but the timing. If you do the right thing at the wrong time, you are wrong. And if you do the wrong thing at the right time, you are wrong. Because one, the, we found out since then, you can see Nara is now 800 or something, from six or from 700. Because people now want to buy Nara. We have buy money in dollars. They want to buy dollars so that they can keep. So it's easy to handle. So but then who is who suffer? It's the economy that suffers it. The money that can even go around to whoever is selling paper and can no more go around. The timing is wrong and that how much do you spend to print that money? Leave that one for conscience and <coughs> but a lesson that is coming, yeah. everybody should go straight to their uh, their their keyboard, which is PVC. And this part of enlightenment should take place in churches, in mosques, in anywhere we go. That if you take money, you are selling your children and yet unborn. You know how much we are holding now? How many trillion Nigeria is holding? So a woman that is pregnant is a debtor. That child is a debtor. So for we, I'm appealing to everybody to be conscious and to be very careful. The politicians always make hunger to happen, quota to election, so that when you drop a 500 naira, people will be happy and leave him. It's our son. He has tried. If you cannot painstakingly refuse 500 naira or 1,000 or 1 million, then you are, you are selling your right. So the region of election, it has started by House of Assembly want to maneuver, maneuver over the electoral matter, the B. BVAS that okay. that uh, BVAS the BVAS uh, mm -hmm. that are just being introduced now. I thank God we were told that the uh, the president still insists that they are not changing it. Okay. But if they do that, they give room. Secondly, police and SSS and DSS they should wake up because the last election was even in their primaries. They were there, the SSS, the DSS, they were there when they were sharing dollars and pounds. They were no more selling Nigeria money. How many people did they arrest? So we should not be, we are just people, those that are consigned, they are just playing pay lip services. And that, that nobody, have you ever seen somebody was arrested? No arrests have been made since then. So people should be alert. They should revive, every state should revive their vigilante group to put them in action. If the police will allow them to work. Then if you can do these normal things, and that so the police, soldiers, should not escort any politician to the voting ground. Okay. They should not allow any, wonder, know how big you are, let everybody go and kill, <laughs> and forget about your security. Because even with the security, you did not block them, you did not clean many of them. So for now, people should open their eyes, they should not sell their vote, and they should please vote according to their conscience. The, part, the time it is, it is my turn, it's over. Because it's your turn to put the nation for poverty, it's your turn to put the people in hunger, that time should stop. Thank you. So we should please vote rightly, educate our children in the church, in the mosque, anywhere you are, okay. so that we can, we can be free once okay. and for all to fold the best person who will deliver us from this problem. Not about party. No, no party. Are, about, we have no party. It's about credible There's finances. Credible. No party have manifesto. No. No. It's I, I, I will do this. I will. They have no, the time of manifesto has passed through the UPN and MPN period. They have no manifesto. They have not. They have no dream for the nation. They have not even slept talking about. Uh, they only have manifesto. Yeah. Okay, it thank is you. when they want to escort you. It's when when you want to to galvanize you. They buga you according to the artist. Then they will have that. We do this. I will do that. They will start dealing, digging boroughs now. 
to say, look, I, I cannot pay. We give 10 people. How many 10 people among millions of people who, who benefit? If for their selfish end, they are, they are, they are self-centered. They are not ready to help us. So we should look at an individual who is capable, who is, have, has the ability to deliver so that uh, we can once and for all free from this problem. Thank you because we are already in a cage as a nation. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Dr. Maxwell, uh, two questions quickly. One, do we change the service chiefs? Two, the roles of the voters. Voters sometimes are compromised too. How do we stop electoral fraud? But well, most quickly just announced yeah. that the okay. INEC chairman, uh, we understand that 19 the electoral, uh, resident uh, electoral commissioners have been sworn in today. Yeah. Five from uh, the, the former ones were sworn in. That's to give credence to the fact that INEC is ready to conduct the 2023 general election. Yes, Dr. Marshall. Thank you. INEC is always ready. He is the political or the players that will always make it look as if INEC is not ready. Okay. Now, thank you. Changing the service chief. I don't think police is our problem any longer. Neither is the army, etc., etc. Do you know how many policemen we've lost in recent times? Do you know how many of our soldiers have gone down the line for this same set of politicians who care less? Now, what you do is that I've come to find out that the Nigerian political class value money more than life. So the Nigerian political class value money more than life. And that's why you can find out that a bullion van of, uh, of uh, two billion, they will give like 10 police officers. Those police officers can be sacrificed, but let the two billion naira be safe. Now, that's to tell you that our mental thinking or meta balance in terms of what God created. Now, there's what we call metaphysics. I'm sorry to go. Yeah. There's what we call metaphysics. Metaphysics means something beyond nature, something after nature. Yeah? So that, those things are something that you can actually not uh, um, uh, visibly or you can grab and give a, a clear definition about. But however, some philosophers have also propagated or proposed that these things that are far beyond physics or nature, they can as well be comprehended by through our sensory what experience. Because these things have happened over and over again, then you cannot deduce from that logical reasoning that this thing does happen. Yeah. That's why we could believe among the sources of knowledge, that yes, authority is a source of knowledge, but authority is not something that we can hold on to. Yeah. That's why we also believe that faith is a source of knowledge, yeah. but it's not something we can hold on to. These are things, intuition, mm. these are things that are what? Beyond physical. They are beyond natural. But however, human, through their reasoning faculty, are able to deduce. That's what Aristotle said. Now, what am I trying to say in all this? It is high time that we should know that if you follow politician by the natural tendency, we will continue to be the Nigeria that we are. It is high time we should think out of the box in an abstraction, putting our 15 years from now. Because it's not the service chief. It's not changing service chief that is the issue. No changing any of the uh, police officers that is the issue. But the greatest point, our greatest problem in Nigeria is the political class who have on their own, on, eh, unwillingly and willingly said to themselves that they will grant this nation. They will grant it to. So, there are two classes I've come to find out in this world. There are the classes that are just up there, which is the political class, who never won't think whether you and I have one. That is, see, they, it's somehow to them to believe that we don't have one thousand naira in our pocket. Now, when you tell these people that this man has not eaten for the past three days, it tells you how is that possible? 
And that is why the security is yeah. able to do so, the job. Are you not doing it? No, that sir. Is why they should be removed from the no, system. No, yeah. sir. No, no, but it's no sir. No, no, sir. 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 No, Sir, no, that is the point I'm trying to make. Sir, it's the point I'm trying to make. You are right. Is that is that all? Is that all? No, sir. That was what he did. Is it not free? Sir, having my 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 He's doing his work, and the, there's justice in the country. They will not try it. Sir, how would there be justice where the political class have not allowed the justice ooh, to be? Ooh, 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 As a bearing in mind, be no, no, sir, the bearing in mind, the same people, that's, that's no, sir, the political the class man, are the, the ones that have been heading the law. You pardon him yeah. to come back again because the political, the political class are the ones that are the law. Okay. Sir, on the appointment of the IG, on the appointment of the commissioner, on the appointment of all these key offices, is done by the political class. Now, if as 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 inspector general of police, yes. or let's say I'm a, a sergeant, and I see someone who has committed crime, and this person is linked to my boss, do you think I have the audacity? What makes me? Who is in charge of a? Uh, uh, police service commission. commission. What, what did he resign? Sir, because has there be any, there, has, has there be any transformation since yeah. he resigned? So, 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 has there be any transformation since he resigned? Sir, if he resigned, another person takes over. That's not in the Nigeria. Do whatever. So it's not only about resigning. Sir, you, you, you sir, tell him and there are country. No, sir, there are country. There are country where you resign and it makes sense. What can we start from that country? No, sir. In Nigeria, they will tell you. Well, so you did not resign. Sir, okay. has there anything, you know, has, has anything changed in okay. it? But it's on record. It's only on record. No, 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 no transformation. Yes, sir. Now, I want you to look at it from this angle. Now, the role of the voters now. Yes, thank you. you I think we can come to that. Yes, the trap fraud. How do we stop the trap fraud See, now? the fact is this. It's okay. part of what I was telling you just now. Yes. That the man that is uh, mandated to create sanity in the electoral process yes. is subject to a man that a political class appointed. Now, if he does otherwise, bearing in mind, we are talking about rice, a rice, bag of rice, almost two months a salary for minimum wage, 30, 30,000 for two months before you can buy a bag of rice. Now, a man that is earning 100,000 as a sergeant, now he's under an authority. The authority the little money he's getting from there to feed his five children. Then suddenly he arrested someone. Then the guy is telling him, I will post you to Zafara. How do you expect such person to survive? You now, do see, not blame that on political no, class. No, sir, it's the political class. No, it's the see, system sir, that is everything rises and falls. Everything rises and falls. No, sir, everything rises and falls on leadership. Now, if we can get it from top, and talk to Bucko. What about the role of voters? The role of voters. See, yes, yeah, yeah, this is that. where this is because where we this is where we have power. Voters collect cash. This is compromise. This their... is where we have power. Yes. This, see, I've told people. I said, uh, vote by. It is difficult to solve vote by. Through the law, because you don't know who is giving. And I may give you on the day of election. I may give you uh, fifteen thousand. You owe me, I say, now the money where they owe you. <laughs> now I give you. Now my friend, I give her money. You see, it's not something you can actually prosecute in yeah. such a way that there is a law that well, will hold will it. Will be on the the <laughs> but however, <laughs> however, you yes. know, there, there is no law that says you, uh, you should you shouldn't pay on election day. Uh -huh. So if, see, they say where there is no law, there is no offense. Right now, there is no law uh, to call vote buying as we speak. Yeah. All we just see is that, oh, let the FCC go there. You will see person sharing money. It's not, you, it's not by video in person. There is one thing about law. You must have a concrete evidence beyond reasonable that will say, okay, this thing is. It's not just this media propaganda thing. Now, the point I'm trying to make on the electoral ad, in a, see, the only way we need to call electoral ad is through the religious leaders. Now, the religious leader, I'm sorry to say, 
in a place where that is here, in a place where all we just do is to collect offering in church and collect time, when we don't even know the source of most of all those things. Because the way we call for this offering and tithe and everything, eh? even those that are going to church, they will classify it as one of those things. So now, the people that are supposed to preach this money to people, telling them that there are some ill-gotten words that you don't need to get. But some of the, some of the churches okay, you, have this ill-gotten words. Uh, first time, so how do we not separate time. all these things? Your... And that they can bear me witness to that. Yes, no, no, that, 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 that because the churches also preach Righteousness yeah, and do. also inform their members. Yes. And I'm not saying said, all. I say yeah, some. So, 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 so uh, there is no mechanism to who just said it yeah. here. So, so, that so, they yes. should not collect money. They should not say yes, that. Yes, but the point I'm so trying to make. That on the but the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. See, uh, see, yeah. see, there is what you must know. Yes. See, people tend to believe action more than words. Okay. Now, what we see is that we see many people who just come to talk and we don't see action. With all due respect to our president. If president comes to tell you that, that I'm on top of the matter, I want to ask you, do you believe? <laughs> so do you know believe? That is what we are talking. Let do you let believe? Let 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 now to let let because let we will read the action one more time. Professor, now electoral fraud. Yes. How do we curb it? We've looked at insecurity. Speak electoral our fraud. Conscience. Yes. You see this Please. word, electoral yes. fraud, is everywhere, everywhere. In, in democracy. Everywhere. What you call electoral fraud in America, they call it lobbying. Let me tell you, they've started campaigning now. The cost of rice now, yeah. assuming one uh, aspirant or candidate now carries a bag of rice and stone, before you wake up, you see the rice there. Mm. All you all do, you carry it out. <laughs> You, then, see, you see banner on top. Once you see banner, you remove the banner <laughs> because it's time. You, once you carry, yeah. you, are, you are waiting. Let me tell you, Nigerians are wiser. Yeah. Look, this thing did not, where we are now, did not start today. You talk about the church. Yeah. Let's uh, not go to church. No, Let's talk yes, about the vote. It has, see, has see, to do with the vote. Tell you, Both the mosque let, and the see, church let, see, let has tell, to do more let, about this. Let me tell they you need this. to speak to our conscience. Yes. They need to see, speak to our See, let me tell you. Africa. Eh? We are always tied to a fit, either to the traditional way or, or the, the other way. The, 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 the white That's people they speak to or our the Muslim. Let me tell you if, you, if you, if you, if you don't know, in the school, they say there is no time. If in the school now, my, my children believe their teacher more than me. You are right. They will say that is what the teacher, teacher said. said. Now, the church, we believe the bishop, the pastor more than our parents. Now, how did you get to this point? When somebody comes, even in the Bible, some of us read the Bible, we know some men of God who said, I don't want the offering. I don't want this. Take it away. Which pastor now that you bring offering that will reject the No, it's not. Some pastors still do. Some pastors still do. The Bible still do. Bishop, and they still preach it. Yes, yes. That, so you don't, but, whatever but, you bring, we may not see you. Yes. God sees you, but any money, because any money that you bring here that is of blood, you will pay for it. Good. So but, that, but, you, but, 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 but there is no and money. And you will discover that like, in those days, the, they don't, the Christian should not play politics. For now, a pastor not preaching now, that every member should no, be... No, they should no, no, that was the no, backward. That was the backward. Before, before, yeah, yeah. Yeah. before, but now, Christian, he has not taken the vote for campaign. The that that the all members should go and register and be voted for. Yes, they so, should vote so, and they'll be voted for. Uh, thank you very so much. So the thank you. Are, the the church. Church. Because uh, you have, you have said it also. Conscience. The point is that they, need to, okay, they need to speak to our conscience. Okay, gentlemen. They are doing it. They need to speak to our conscience. The churches, they are Let's doing see. it. They are preaching Whilst, to the churches if of they the speak, the God who does the mechanism will mechanize us. Okay, Dr. Is Dr. Dr. Better see all the students that have this teacher? No. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. I've just been told... That time is not <laughs> our friend on the program. This, this, this is what I, I, about I hope you've enjoyed 60 Minutes Nigeria. It's been a very heated debate. Because my guest, their desire is that Nigerians wow. should get it right in 2023. That is the essence of their emotional outbursts. They want Nigerians to get it right so that they don't regret for the next four years. On that note, I want to thank Reverend Lua Dirigbibe, thank you. a former labor leader in Edo State. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank and you of course, us. a lecturer in our midst, 
Dr. Max Osage, thank you very much. Thank you. It's Agreed always a you, pleasure. You can vast your points <laughs> logically. It's always, it's always and a And of pleasure. course, the man that wants to be called a farmer, if I toy. Thank you very much. Bring <laughs> 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 so, That's the show for this week. My name is Ego Sagmulao. Do have a wonderful weekend ahead. Bye-bye.